County Library, and today I'm going to show you how to do do-it-yourself scratch paper. What you're going to need, you're going to need cardstock, Q-tips, toothpicks, black temper paint, a container and a brush, and crayons. The reason why you need cardstock is because cardstock is going to be a thicker paper. Printer paper will tear when you try to make your design with your toothpicks, and cardstock is going to be just the right um, strength for that. Also, you can't use cardboard because cardboard is too soft. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is color the cardstock. I did two different designs, but you can color it however you want to. After you've done that, I'm going to pick this one. Get your temper paint, put it in your container, and you're going to need quite a bit of paint because the waxy part of the crayon is going to cause the paint to not really stick to the paper. All right. Now also you might want to use an old tablecloth just to protect your table because you're, if you're anything like me, I will get paint on everything except for where it's supposed to be. So to protect our table, we're going to use, I'm using an old tablecloth. All right, here we go. I'm putting this on fairly thick to cover my colors underneath. And the reason I said Q-tips is because there's two ways of doing, doing scratch paper. You can wait till it's dry and use the toothpick to scratch the paint off to create your design. Or while it's still wet, you can use Q-tips to create your design. And if it's wet and you mess up, you can always paint over it. So there's always a good thing about doing it while it's wet, except for it's messier. Make sure I'm covering all my wonderful color here. And make it all smooth. And now I'm ready to either paint or let it dry. I am going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's wet. So I'm gonna take my Q-tip and let's see if I can get this in here. As I pull the paint off, you can see the design. I'm just gonna make a real simple house here, a little window, and I'm going to show it to you. But this is what you can do while it's still wet. Now, when it's dry, let me move this over. You take your toothpick and you scratch your design. Now you can also use like the kebab sticks, the metal wood kebab sticks that will help with tying your hands to create the design. It's whatever your preference is. I'm going to make a same little house. And there you see it. Now mine was just a very quick design. You can always scratch as much paint off as you want to to create your wonderful drawing. But that is how you do do-it-yourself scratch paper. I hope you continue to check us out at ChristianCountyLibrary.org to see all the programmings that we have for adults and kids. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh,